Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So, we have discussed the basics about semiconductor in chapter 2 and on current flow in semiconductor in chapter 3. All discussions were focusing on homogeneous semiconductor that includes intrinsic semiconductor which has no doping or uniformly doped semiconductor. It's either P-type or N-type. We have also covered compensated semiconductor, which have two types of doping, and also degenerate semiconductor, which is also known as highly doped semiconductor. Under the topic of current flow in semiconductor, we have covered a drift current, which is the current that is generated due to the presence of electric field, and also diffusion current, which is the current that is generated from non-uniform doping in semiconductor. So from now, we move on to chapter 4 and we are going to discuss on non-homogeneous semiconductor. In this subtopic, we will focus on the consistency of Fermi level. So, most of the basic concept of non-homogeneous semiconductor is similar to homogeneous semiconductor. If you still feel confused with homogeneous semiconductor, please refer back to the notes that we have learned. Homogeneous semiconductor is a semiconductor that is made of one material, regardless whether it is doped or undoped. If the semiconductor is doped, homogeneous semiconductor is doped uniformly. So, for a homogeneous semiconductor, the band diagram is as shown here. In this example, the material is an undoped intrinsic semiconductor. By now, you must have been familiar with all the labels and band diagram concept. We must have the conduction band at the top, then intrinsic family level or EI at the middle and valence band at the lowest level. We must also remember that although not written, there is a y-axis of energy with the unit electron volt and x-axis for position. Thus, the objective of this subtopic, we will learn on the band diagram concept of non-homogeneous semiconductor. Non-homogeneous semiconductor is defined as a semiconductor with non-uniform doping or having different types of doping at different regions or a semiconductor that is made using more than one materials where the composition varies at different regions. For example, a diode is made of an N-type semiconductor and P-type semiconductor forming a PN junction. So for these semiconductors, the concept of Fermi level needs to be further discussed. Let's take this semiconductor in figure A for example. It is made of two materials, material A and material B, having different material characteristics. Material A has a wide band gap and material B has a narrower band gap and the doping level is also different. When the materials are first joined, they are in a state that is called electrical neutrality. And since the electrons in A has higher energy, let's focus at the Fermi level. Fermi level in A is higher than Fermi level in B and this state thus is not stable. So since electrons in A has higher energy, they will flow from A to B because naturally particles will move from higher to lower energy states. The flow will continue until the system of the joint material reach equilibrium. While reaching equilibrium, we must remember that if there is an amount of electrons moving from A to B, there must be a same amount of carriers also moving from B to A because theoretically, current must be zero. This zero current is achieved when there are same amount of currents moving at opposite directions to one another. And thus, at equilibrium, there will be a flow of carriers from A to B and from B to A, which can be given as a function A and function B. Recall that this is the Fermi Dirac function and since at equilibrium, the carrier flux is the same but having opposite direction. Thus, theoretically, the Fermi level should be equal. This is why at equilibrium, the Fermi level 
must be constant throughout the system. At the same time, bear in mind the band gap also must be maintained. So let's stop here. The main points that you have to remember from this subtopic are Fermi level must be constant and band gap must be maintained. All other levels can have variation depending on the band gap and also the doping level. So that's all. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions through the FB group page and also WhatsApp. Thank you. Yeah.